what happens when you hand your car over to a YouTuber to walk around it or even take it out for a drive and review it? Well, today we're going to be finding out because you'll have seen on my channel before, I've done walk arounds of people's cars because I can't be insured them to drive them, therefore it would be illegal to do so. So I just do a quick walk arounds, just have a look at them, give you an idea of the specs. Other YouTubers out there go out and actually drive the cars and you may be sat at home thinking, hey, I want to hand my car over to a YouTuber to drive for an afternoon or a morning or whatever and you just want an idea of what's going to happen. So that's exactly what this video is going to be. Today I'm working with Lloyd Vehicle Consulting. He's going to be taking out my Renault Megane Classic. He's going to be taking it out on a nice little review around Wilton because we are at the Guild, which was previously known as the Wilton Shopping Village and it is opposite Wilton House, which is literally just over there. I can actually see it just over there through the trees. But that's the place where I've been to before to film car shows. So I'm in fairly familiar territory with this. But yes, today's video, Joseph Lloyd of Lloyd Vehicle Consulting is going to be driving my Renault Megane around and you're going to see a bit of a behind the scenes and you can get an idea of what will happen when you hand your car over to a YouTuber for a review. It'll typically go like this. You offer your car to the YouTuber to drive You'll agree on a time, date and a place, and then on that day, you'll meet. It's not up to the reviewer what the weather's like, but as it turned out, today was a good day for filming. It's amazing, you know, Once you and the YouTuber are at the location, the it'll start with general niceties and a chat about the car, or like socially distanced, so of course. Yeah. The reviewer will like, have done research yeah, on the car model beforehand to give their audience information on it, however, Nothing adds to a review more than finding out small details about the car's life under your ownership. This may well help hint at why the condition of your car is what it is. In this case, the review was going to be a no-budget reviews video where cars under £1,000 are viewed, so it was still very much in keeping with that style. Yes, even with those arches. He starts his review off with a short walk around of the vehicle, explaining some of the features, some of the interesting points about it, just generally giving his audience a good overview of the car. So as you can see just behind me, Joseph is now quickly recording the Renault, just doing his little walk around of it. And I'm just standing here watching him, just embracing the madness of it all basically. Well viewers, we have a real privilege today. Just near Salisbury and I've come across this 1999 Renault Megane Classic 1.6 RN Liberty with the very very rare air conditioning option. The Renault Megane Classic is just not a car that you see in this country really at all. It wasn't particularly common when it was new and it certainly isn't now. This is a pre-facelift Megane Classic. Uh, they were facelifted in April 99 they are quite reliable cars. The two areas of concern with the electrics, one of them I've been informed by my Mr. Coleman rubbish mechanic, who I often actually um, talk to before I come out and film cars, and because he works on so many of mine, and as you, as you can see, I've got one of mine here today, says that the rear lights often go wrong on these. It's, it's not an expensive or problem, well, it's not too complicated, but it's just a bit annoying really, but rear light wiring on the GAN seems to fail. Although apparently on this car it's been okay, maybe it's just the hatchback ones. One of the things you'll notice straight away uh, here is that we've got a, a, um, not only a, an aftermarket stereo in this car, but also um, uh, an air conditioning button. Now this was an optional extra in this car, it wasn't standard, and this is why this is a Liberté AC. The driving stage is probably the stage of a review which is the most worrying as it does require trust and handing your keys over to someone off of the internet can obviously be quite a daunting prospect. So with this said, if you change your mind and don't feel comfortable about them driving off in your pride and joy to review it, most YouTubers will be willing to work with you to find a solution. A simple walk around of the vehicle could be an alternative option. You could sit in the car with the YouTuber whilst they do their review. They may well leave you with a personal item whilst they drive your car, so you have that guarantee that they will come back. I would honestly love to say that every person on the internet wants to drive your vehicle with honest intent, I really would, but the simple fact is that not everybody does. So for safety's sake, 
Do your research on the YouTuber before handing your keys over to them. For the most part, anybody with a YouTube channel who uploads videos regularly and has a reasonable subscriber base, they're unlikely to cause you any trouble. It's even better if they have previous review videos as they can get a good idea of how they work. It also gives you an insight into the kind of layout of the filming process as well. Also, quick tip, check out the comments of their previous review videos if they have any. There will often be a comment from the owner which can be used to gauge how their reviewing experience was. In this instance, I had watched Joseph's content for a little while on YouTube so I was aware of the kind of content he makes when reviewing other people's cars. I had also met him at the British Motor Museum in 2020 where he did a walk around of my Rover Mini. Then later on that same year, he made a full review of my Fiat Panda 100 HP. This brings me on to a point in that you will have been the ones who offer your car for review because you're interested to hear this person's thoughts. Or you feel your car should be shared with a potentially large audience. You might also meet a car YouTuber, whether you've heard of them or not, at a car show or event. Here, they may express interest in driving your car for their channel if they think, wow, that's really interesting. Meeting them in person beforehand at a show is great. It gives you an idea of what they're like. It also means you can research them before you decide if you want to go ahead with a review or not. The point is, whether or not your car gets reviewed, it's all in your hands. And for the record, it is quite rare for a content creator to email or message you if you are comfortable with them driving your car, from my experiences, for a simple review, the drive itself is usually somewhere between 10 minutes to half an hour. It's enough time for the YouTuber to get a general idea of what the car is about, as well as account for any mistakes to edit out. Don't be afraid to ask how long a drive would take, as everyone has their own way of doing a video. Oh look, a Rover Mini! So whilst Joseph is off driving the Renault, I'm obviously left in the car park, which, granted, it's a nice sunny day, but not every day when you give your car to a YouTuber, not every day is going to be sunny, so it could be raining and things like that. But that doesn't matter, because whilst, uh, whilst he's having the time of his life driving your car, you can go off and do other things. You can go to a shop, you can have a coffee, you can just have a look around. If you're outside in a place like this, you can just go and sit by the river or whatever. It's all very pleasant. I mean, really, in terms of timing, he's only going to be probably 10, 15, maybe 20 minutes most, so it's not too bad. Quite a nice looking Audi. S line here. Rather nice, especially in this lighting. You have a nice Rover 45 V6, obviously owned by Joseph Loy himself. A nice Seat Leon FR. VW Golf GTD. I'm rather partial to a sporty Renault Megane RS, or any Renault sport vehicle in fact. Things look absolutely stunning in liquid yellow. This, of course, being the latest generation of the gun with the uh, almost full width rear light bar. Pretty cool. Eventually, they'll return from their drive. Hopefully, those sirens aren't for Joseph. So there we are, finished the driving section. Usually, it's at this point the YouTube will sum up their drive in your car as well as give their overall verdict on it. They may go around and get a couple of B-roll shots, but other than that, the review is done. After this, it's likely that you'll just end up talking for a little while about the car, or just general friendly chatter. Advantages and disadvantages of, of these early Megans, and I'm quite taken by this car. I think I would have a, a more luxurious variant than this, but there's just something about this kind of rare survivor that's been in the family since new, but is really, really endearing. There's nothing else just quite like this. So there we go, Joseph has now just driven the car and I think he's had a good time. Have you, have you enjoyed yourself driving the car? I have, it's a shame when I recorded the driving section with the camera faced towards me, the light was really bad, but that's just the way it goes on no budget reviews. Yeah. We don't have any fancy equipment, no microphones, 
no DSLRs and no tripods, unlike your channel, where yeah. you have all of those things. I do, but uh, yeah, they don't always come off as well as maybe they could do, but it works for me. <laughs> But yes, anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this video of seeing what sort of goes on a bit behind the scenes, what you can expect to happen when you give your car over to a new tube to drive it for a day or for a bit. In total, we spent about an hour in this, I'd say, maybe a bit longer. Maybe even less than that. Maybe even less, but review time if you're driving cars, about 10, 15 minutes or so. In terms of us chatting, obviously discussing the cars and things like that, that's been about an hour. So, there we go. I hope that gives you a rough idea of what you can expect when you give a YouTuber your car to drive for a morning, afternoon, a full day, whatever. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching and I shall see you in the next video. So, farewell for now.